Kamala University has gone for Python. Python for easy. Somebody have asked the question, why C is so tough and all this. The C is kind of a Sanskrit language of our, our Indian language system. Once you learn C, you can learn any language better. So sometimes, say, whenever you know mother tongue, if you don't know any other language, it is it is a handicap. So it is always better you have to should be convert like two three languages. Like we, we know, I think hopefully most of you Bengali, Hindi, or Bengali, Hindi, both English, some people from Maharashtra and others, they can know Marathi. So it will help you to, to picturize a thing, multi, multilingual is always better. C is the most basic, uh, still it is followed here. In some of the countries in the USA they follow the Python, but there is no harm to you know C. Uh, it is sometimes program becomes bigger, but that doesn't mean that uh, it is bad. Okay. Some people have asked question why C is stuff, but C is a kind of an assembly language of a computer. Computer can understand C language much better. Any computer. Any computer doesn't mean your Android phone. Android phone you cannot write, uh, write programming C. So you have to know another language like Dart, like Java, like this kind of language. So there, the, you know, in, in your license of in your lifetime of your career, you may have to learn around 10 or 11 languages for different purposes. So C is one fundamental thing you must know fully. Then you can compare other languages to that. So some of you know already Java. Lots of similarities with Java with C, particularly like semicolon in Python with no semicolon. And there is an indentation, two character or four character to show the program. That will be much helpful for syntax. Now, the, some questions I come to take this way. The things are called the compiler directives. Whenever you see, this is part of the program, but it is not compiled. Two things you must come to know. What is compiler? What is interpreter? Compiler is taking the whole full program, 100 lines or 50 lines program, take an input and output an object file. So compiler is like, compiler is a box. Compiler is basically another program. Compiler is another software program. His input is .c file. He <laughs> say any1.c file. Say a1.c file. And output would be, what is the output? Anybody has idea? What should be the compiler output? A1. Yes. Good. Who says OBJ? Very good. That is the output of the a1.obj. That is the compiler. And you can multiple files say a2.obj. That is the good. And then they call loader and linker. Yeah. Loader generally you cannot so when you press GCC, you might not get the distinct stages, but there are actually stages. And after this, it will get a dot out, a dot out, and that file is that file is this a dot out. This is the a dot out file that is goes into the memory. This is memory. This is your memory, and this is the memory map of the program. This is memory, and memory map you know you have 8 GB RAM at your desktop. This is 8 GB say and hexadecimal number system say FFFF and 0 0. And what is this? This is I call it a CPU. This is I call a CPU. Which consider is a single core, single CPU. Don't confuse it quad core, octa core. So we have a single core, one core. Because try to understand the simple thing first. And your CPU first point to two OS. And then it will be handed over to here. Okay. So what the program does, can anybody tell me, say here, I go this, this by this, two, and in I1, yes. But this one, anything valuable declaration outside, what is the value it is called? Outside the program, what is the value? Global value. Global value. Very good. And the global value will be always stored here. In your memory, your global value, this is global value. Global value. And what is the advantage and disadvantage of it? Disadvantage is your, mind, your program size and memory will be bigger. Because this memory, like whenever you are writing this, this I1 is equal to 5, this I1 should be saved here. 
this is stack and this is your main program main so if your program name is this is the program a arc c arc b i'll come what is arc from argument count and this is arc b array the list of this arc i'll come this is the your command line when you call the program okay so coming back to this this is your global variable what side it declare if you have any other file say if you have say this file is a1.c so this file is a1.c and if you have any other file there you need any any other function a2.c a2.c here then if you want to refer if you write it here you have to write refer external the address you have to ask external next Okay, so this will then refer to this value. So any of the global variable, whatever you have written here, any other places, you do not have to write again in max d equal to hundred. That will be error. You have to in other variable to show the global variable. This is so this is one, and then the in int min d. What is this? Is this a global or not global? Mean D, but it is uninitialized. Remember, two types of global variables. One is initialized global variable, and this is uninitialized global variables. It is generally called BSS segment. BSS segment. I think you all know this, but this will take up the spaces. And then we come here. Again, you just for foolish programming, in I one five, I initialize. This is a local variable. Okay, this variable will be created in the stack here. And can you tell me this is the kind of call a stack? It is this is called a programming window. In a memory, how many windows can be there? This is kind of a window. Window programming window. So if you have a say this is C, there may be Python, there may be two C. There are multiple windows in a strip. This is the whole memory actually. I first explain when the first BIOS ROM should be there on your motherboard. When you see the This is gigabyte motherboard, or this all these messages coming from this BIOS. When you open up your laptop, say HDMI, these are these are saved in BIOS ROM, so that will be always be displayed. Then it can be dependent Windows 10 or Linux. This operating system will be loaded. This operating system may have stacks, may have these of their own. It will do two, two stacks. It is their stack. Now, when you call the account out program, it will come here. Okay, this is the read-only version of account out. This cannot be. If it is can be written, then your program will come blue screen. So, this is the read-only. Though it is a RAM, but your program it is come by instruction like assembly language instruction. That is that file is called from OBJ to account out. That will be there. Next should be initialized global variable. Then one another thing I will tell you in in C program subsequently when we go to C plus plus Java or Python global variable is not needed at all. Initially whenever we start programming we need global variables, but it can be shown that that will be given later on mistakes. Global variable gives rise to because global variable can initialize and uninitialize sometimes. So global variable is discouraged. But you should know that this because C is invented 1961 onwards. At that time, memory was maybe 8K. Right now, we have a 16 GB 32 GB. So that time, the 8K memory. And that answer, somebody has asked the question that why the string concept is not there in C? Because at that time, every byte is very precious to CPU and C, so it must be usable. But whenever 8 GB, 16 GB computers are available, so then we found that any string array, if we make it immutable, not changeable, that will be faster to operate. And that is discovered in 90s. So there you see in Java, the string is immutable. In Python, string is immutable. The concept is immutable and mutable comes because in C, all variables are mutable, changeable because. And there is no concept of string. See, my name is Shomna Kajju. Right? Fortunately, if I do not know every bit, 
my name will be there in my lifetime. So there will be, it is better to name this string to a string that is immutable, so that I cannot push. And if my name, searching, indexing, everything will be immutable, will be faster. But see the disadvantages, no string concept, it is array concept. Array concept, it is text like this here. Array concept is here. And it can be always, something can be pushed in, something can be plugged in, something can be deleted. So in that case, this takes much bigger space in memory. If it is immutable, it takes a little space. Because it is all to be together. I mean only point to this. I array, I have to point at this, point at this, point at this. So actually, its size will be bigger. So that is the reason, see, array is bigger. And C doesn't have the concept of string. C string is coming back to uh, a array of characters. Right. Have I answered your question? Somebody asked the question. You can ask the question again. Okay. Coming back to this, this is the program I had. Now we concept of global memory and BSS segment. Then in Spain, in Taiwan, uh, I call it Who I One with parameter this is. So what is this? Can anybody tell me? Uh, yes. I have, yeah, I have a comment here. Uh, in, in, who, in, I, com. What is this statement? What is this statement? Function. Yes? Function? Function? I am not getting the correct term. It is correct when you put it. called function signature. It is called signature. Function body is here, and this is called the signature. How to define the signature? Because the semicolon is here. That is body. Why I used it here? Because because I am using it here earlier than the function body. So this is better in practice. So put the signature, function signature. This is called function signature. How the function should be look like? This is one. And another thing, how, what is this called? Hmm? Parameter, formal parameter. You have to mention, it's a formal parameter. So actually it will be a parameter which cannot be a flow. Like I have to pass it through integer. I am declaring, I am passing only one and then change integer. And this is formal parameter. Lot of times it will be here. Whether this is parameter is called by value and called by reference? Called by value. Good. Because if it is the star is there, then it will be call by value. So that will be, because always call by value is much safer. Call by value means if I pass the value, if I pass it, then the separate copy will be created at the function. Great. So now I coming back to int i1 into 5, who i1. Okay. What will the print out? Can anybody, can anybody tell me? Who i1. So I will go to who i1. Here I put I1. What is the first printout? What is the first printout of this program? Yes. First program will be this, this plus and then will be 7 will be printout. Okay, great. Then it will come back. Come back, then print. What will be printout here? Yes. That will be. So one thing, anything you do it here with this I1 it will not be reflected here because the i1 is still 5. When you are in this function, it will 7. You can say formal parameter. But if we pass it to a star, then the changes, whatever you make, it will come here. Okay, that is one very good thing. So, summarize is uh, coming. This one question is that uh, why the string concept is there in Java and Python? And C always follows the character array, but C is the most flexible. Uh, it, can, it can move the byte level. So the byte, everything can be byte, character bytes. And another thing I must tell you, this in this area, this area, oh, why this area, deep area, and there you have to call by malloc, malloc, size, and this is void. Void, galop, galop, type, and size. The memory will be allocated. 
Just tell me what is void? Somebody has asked. So I must answer this. Void means here. In, in most of the current books, if we see, uh, can I make it void here? I can make. But the thing is that it is always if I make a int, I should write it in the last point return zero. Okay, return zero. So whenever that is go out it, so it will, but if it is void here, I cannot write return zero that way. So why extra override I put it for int because that will help for another disadvantage you see is that there is there may be lot of errors. Any kind of error you can find it. What can be the errors in the C program? First of all, see if you compare like a statement like if say R1 equal to R2, then you do this R1 and R2 may be real number. And whatever can be the two real numbers cannot be equal in C program. So there will be always this loop will not be executed. Are you getting my point? You are setting a loop condition. If R1 equal to R2, it will stop. But if R1 and R2 are integer number, or floating point number, it is 99.9 .9 chances it will not be equal. Because representation of real number is different. Very different. That is one point. And divide by zero can occur. Unknowingly, you are sometimes in an operation you divide by zero occurs. Any other error you can think of. In array, see you have a C E. What is your declaration of array? Your declaration to be is it type. You, you just you type it like say int int array or char array char array say ten. So how many how many uh, characters are there in this array? Ten. What's the number? Zero. One to eleven or zero to ten? Zero to nine. Great. Zero to nine. Always see characters start with zero. See in any in, in, in your programming, you try to access ten time, uh, eleven time. What will happen? Yes. Uh, see, you will throw error. See, program will stop. That is the disadvantage of C. That is, you might go to Python and Java. C is completely blank if it is goes out of error. But it is a normal thing. Very normal thing. You expect something, you keep a you always C program, you always see. You always expected that if your first name is 10 characters, we say first name is 20 characters. Last name is 50 characters. But if you go to particularly South Indian students, the last name may be 60 characters. You don't know, you are making a program, you have a program. You are developing a program, whenever you are writing a C program, any array out of index, it will throw error and the program will stop hidden. So that is the error. That is, that is support is not there. Is not to divide by zero, array out of bound, any other error you can find it out. And here another is dangling pointer. Have you heard dangling pointer? What is void pointer? Okay, no, no issue, no problem. So, what is this? How to have the program is have a pointer? Whenever you write, whenever you see, whenever you cannot, you don't understand this test, scan f and percent i. What is this i? What is this pointer? What is this basically? Address. Address. That is you are. Whether you know or not, whenever you take something by scanning, you are introduced to pointer. Even if, even if I, I am not teaching you like int star i, this one. What is this? Is a point integer type point. Integer type point. So whenever this, whenever you have this kind of thing together, like this or star they cancel it out each other. I think you know all this. This is this is called address of and this is at the at the at the place. It will cancel out each other. Anyway, the pointer, whenever you print a pointer, how to print the pointer? Say I am here, say I am here writing and take a another place. I think we have to finish this. Any doubt? So this is when should I use next D? It is a if anybody gets a max D, it will be replaced by 50. So why am I using the const? 
I can use const also, and I can use this also. So we have to think that why, and this should be always written in a maximum uh, capital name. Max, this is a convention. This is a convention. Never use in your variable name with a capital letter because capital letter means this is a convention by defined clause. That means it will be constant and by the defined clause. Okay, and another thing is if you have a letter like the const, const, int, then you can use the letter max. So max d equal to 5. This is max in. This is a constant, but this is not all capital. First letter is capital. This is another way, const. Const is a keyword. Where you can declare a variable, so there you have to sometimes define clause is more readable and that is the top of the thing. It should be at the top. Any question? Where you are, the point is coming. Any question? This is the this is the memory map. Memory map. This should be very clear. So another thing is any other programming like in error handling, Java, Python much better given to the error handling test. Because all these error should not go to the plus key. It will come back to you so that you can correct yourself program error. Program error. So that is the thing all the real life system, whatever C you are using, like Google, Gmail, whatever you see, your Facebook, all are developed not by C. All are developed this kind of language where error come out and it can come out of the error. If you happen to learn the program five, six years back, you see the blue screen now. Now even the Windows 10 level doesn't come out. Because it's, it is all handy. So, have I answered all of your question? Any question we have? I think some of the questions I have not answered. Please uh, write your questions. I, I just discussed the concept of pointer. The pointer concept is only in C, not in any other language. Pointer are two types, void. Point. void pointer, another is dangling pointer. Dangling. Another is null. Any other pointer? Null. First of all, what is void pointer? Have you all known the malloc? Why this is the malloc is necessary? Malloc and calloc. Malloc signature function is always void. Malloc size of bytes. C only keep all the things in bytes. Now tell me why it is void. Why not e? Why not? Pointer some question is this is now it is void pointer is void pointer you can put any other pointer to a void pointer. But reverse is not. Void pointer you cannot put it anyway. Like I can say say in malloc whenever you are Asking some bytes, or if you take calloc, calloc, I have said, I have say integer, int, and size. So, what is the difference in malloc and calloc? Can anybody tell me what is the calloc? Calloc. What is what is the difference between malloc and calloc? When I go for malloc, when I go for calloc. Why the C has given the real of free? These are the basic tools you have to know. Memory allocation from heap. And why heap memory allocation is right? Tell me if you know what is scallop is all the bytes it has been given to you the program initialized with zero. Calloc is all the things in initialized zero and give the starting point. And this is a pointer, this is basically a pointer and say this is the 
space they all initialize with zero and this pointer is retired by canon and this pointer is always void because i can be integer i can be character i can be floating point number anything so it can be any structure also so it will be always void and it will come back and in case of malloc so in case of malloc it can be garbage it can be garbage okay so malloc does not make the clear the bytes with zeros it can be the earlier value so which will be faster in operation malloc or calloc malloc will be faster because it doesn't have to work initialize malloc will be faster because if you get a chunk of memory it's a 4 kilobytes the huge memory it has to initialize the calloc will be slower but calloc is safer it is hardly a time the calloc will be set that and calloc you always call by the two parameters why it is a time that like integer in most of the c it is a 4 bytes and size a 100 this is a 400 bytes and in malloc you have to mention 400 and here you have to say 100 and for an integer means 4 bytes this is okay with you so Malloc means you have to give only the number of bytes and see the bytes and carry same. In Java, it is a 16 bit care, but in C, it is an 8 bit care. So that is, so that is void. So what is the concept of void pointer? Void pointer is such a pointer that every pointer you can, but you cannot refer any void pointer to any other. Then you do pointer exception your program will be error and there will be so many errors it will be difficult so that is the reason you have to go for C++ or Java and Python and I must declare what is null whenever I declare a pointer like I am declare a pointer say I am the pointer I and I am the pointer I colon and in I1 in I1 5 and pointer pointer I equal to address of I1 agree now if I say print print percentage D comma percentage g comma star pointer underscore i and we can write print print percentage how to print pointer percentage percentage p right any pointer you can be percentage p you can print pointer p r so whenever you print this one Whenever you print this one, you get the pointer address and it will differ machine to machine. And that is the pure address. That, that is the negative point also C because any bar program can go, know the where is your point and it can put some garbage value. So here, point equal to I, whenever I write this, it is better to equal to null here because whenever I do not put it, this pointer I it can be any garbage, which is a damning point. If I am creating a pointer, but I am not giving any value to it. So this is the point I will say this is the called dangling point. But if I put I1 equal to 5 and then a, my pointer is here, then it is not dangling point. And another thing, it is better whenever I create a pointer without a pointing anything, it is better to create it with the point now. And if I1 value is created, but your pointer value is there, that is also dangling point. So dangling pointer is very dangerous. So what is dangling pointer? So that is a dangling pointer. The pointer exists, but the, which where it points to the value of the That is dangling pointer. 
That's a typical question asked in everywhere in between what is dangling pointer, what is white pointer, what is null pointer. Any question? Have I been too tough? Is it, am I reading too much? Is it okay for you? Any more question? Then, then it comes pointer end critics. Can two pointer, what is the basic output of pointer? What is the basic output of pointer? Is it the integer number or floating pointer? Floating? No. The integer. Because the pointer is nothing but the address in your global memory. It is hard for address. Absolutely hard for address. It is not indirect. So pointer is an integer. The two pointer address, so two integers can be multiplied. Can two pointer address can be multiplied? Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Absolutely no. That is called pointer arithmetic. Pointer address, pointer is basically integer, but here only addition is allowed. And better incremental and decremental. If a pointer, integer type pointer, say integer type pointer, say it is a 400. Say it is a 400, say 4000. Now some pointer is here. This is an int. Int star pointer i. If I say pointer plus plus, so what will be location it will address to? It will address to 4004. Four bytes. Here pointer plus plus means pointer to be increased by the size of your integer. Because the integer is four bytes, so pointer should locate to 4004. Is it agreed? This is called pointer arithmetic. Pointer should be decremented and implemented by the pointer basic time. If it is a void pointer, then it will be plus one or minus one. Because void is size is one, one byte. But integer pointer four bytes, the long is eight or ten as the C. So the pointer arithmetic is pointer pointer address cannot be multiplied, definitely not divided. And pointer is implemented and decremented. Two pointer address can be addition. Yes, it can be done. Two pointer address can be added and decremented, but which one is bigger? It can go negative address, that is the error. C doesn't have any detection for error. In your program should contain the how to handle this kind of thing. So that is called pointer arithmetic. Pointer can be only incremented or decremented or can be addition or subject. It can be, can be uh, minus, but there will be no point of, though this is an integer number, you cannot multiply again. These are the questions. I, any questions, any other questions? I'll see. So C has lots of doubts. I have also lots of I can have lots of doubts. I can ask you. So that's the thing. The, Pointer arithmetic you must know. Can you have an array of pointers? Can you have this kind of value like int pointer i star star star? Can you have three star? Yes. Pointer can be indirectly points to this. One pointer to another pointer to another pointer. That is possible. Maybe level of address will be close, depending on compiler to compiler. But better not to use. Better not to use, you will be confused. So this is pointer to pointer, pointer to pointer, it is there. If, can we have an array of pointers? Yes, we can have an array of pointers. Can we return pointer? Yes, we can return pointers. So pointers, that is another separate thing. But if you want to know C very good, then you have to know pointers very well. But this pointer concept fortunately not there in Java part. So if you don't have to go very detailed, so basic things are pointer you must know. Because why is pointer? Why not call by value? Because your call by reference is point. What do you, why you go for pointer? Any answer? Or any question? Pointer, see if you have a say he, he is taking a video, maybe one GB size. If you go call by value, another 1 GB will be copied and it will take too much of time. Because if a 1 GB RAM in, in a 
heat area, I can give only the pass by reference, call by reference. So all, that is the call by reference is always a pass step. And sometimes a picture. So if you take a picture, high definition picture, it might take say some 100k or 200k, there is a call by reference with it. So C call by reference is always useful, but in other language techniques in different way. Have I answered all questions? I have you new questions? Please you can ask new questions. Any questions? Everything is answered. So okay. With the permission of madam, so in my other group, we, we are taking a, a small, very small projects. What is the kinds of project? It is a write a C program again, a animation or something prime number generation, anything. You can also take up and one with permission of the madam we are taking the presentation of you so you on this time i will not be here you will be here the screen will be there and you you show your presentation any group. so project can be you can get the idea from internet but that will help you and another thing i may i wish to mention that project preferably on your laptop and i found visual vs code you are anybody is acquainted with vs code Okay, this is a structure. And you can make also you need. Please read it. Structure will keep all the values separate. And union takes only, if you have in fact put a union, only the maximum size it will take. Only one with the maximum size. So union is at the time when C is infected and the memory is very costly. So we so sometimes a union I I save this one, sometimes I save this one. We will take the maximum, like this one. But structure will always say 20 bytes, 80 bytes, and this. Okay. So, start time union is the one of the question. Any other? Any game? Any game? Pick that to the matter, save it on. So, you do. It can be game. It can be any part of problem also, different kinds of numbers to take, like prime number generation or various kinds of numbers. But anything that we should be. Unconventional and it can be the ideas can be from internet, 